What's going on guys? Once again, Justin Greer, Just Electric LLC, Bakersfield Local Licensed Electrician. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to build a custom, very inexpensive, it may even be free, antenna for your home, for your, any TV, literally. Let me show you how to do that. It's only a few things you need, common household things. I'm going to show you that part of this right now. So, I have four coat hangers right these are just normal regular metal coat hangers you get a handful of screws maybe like an inch inch and a half even two inches long i got a piece of scrap wood that i just found in my garage uh you may need like some wire strippers or like a pocket knife or something uh and then i got my drill and i got me some uh drill tip attachments but you can use like a screwdriver too whatever's compatible with your screws and See if you have some old wire laying around. Use like an old extension cord. These are just single, you know, single wires with insulation on it. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to kind of put this together to assemble a um, antenna. And then also, you gotta have one of these laying around. So pretty much this here is just a normal cable that plugs up to your uh, TV. The typical, these are called coaxial cords. Right, see where it says antenna in. See if your TV has that on the back of it. Right, and that just screws in. I mean, I'm, I'm 30 years old, so folks around my age, they should know what these look like. These are coaxial cables, right? Your typical cable box have these plugged directly to it. So what I did to the end of this is I left that side intact. You know, that screws on. And then this other side here, what I've done, if it focuses, um, so I took a pocket knife. Man, this thing is not gonna focus, is it? Oh man, come on. Galaxy 22 Ultra is failing me. How about that? Oh, okay. So as you can see, I took a pocket knife and I stripped off about, you know, how many inches is that? Three inches of insulation maybe. And then like about an inch and a half, I just stripped it even further where I have the copper exposed. So prep it like that and I'm gonna show you what to do next. But first, let's come over to this here wood let me sh uh, mark this up for you to show you what that's going to look like so first step i want you to do these eight dots on this wood as you can see it doesn't doesn't have to be perfect you know they're just trying to spread out you see eight dots side by side so and then next you're going to take these uh hangers and you're going to cut uh four triangles actually eight total triangles i got four in uh total hangers but you're going to get two triangles from each um hanger so i'm going to cut basically like right Actually, I'm probably going to cut like right there and right here, just straight across. It's not going to be uh, perfect, but let me show you what that looks like. So I'll just do this to each each of the four hangers. I'll just cut the hook off, as you can see, and I got these little triangles, okay? I'm going to do that about any eight of these. So let's do this four more times, three more times, and let me show you that. All right, so when it's, it's all said and done, the four, the eight triangles are going to look somewhat like this, you know, the tip of the triangles are going to be on those eight dots that you drew okay and then I'm gonna take a wire and go from here to there to there to there stop and then a second wire from there to there to there and there and that wire is actually gonna be made out of a uh, coat hanger so actually you need more than four you need I think about five we'll see here in a second and I'll show you how to wire this all up stay tuned so I think earlier I said pocket knife. Yeah, so a pocket knife you'll need it to strip the wire, but I, I'm using cutters here. So hopefully you got some type of wire cutters, cable cutters to basically cut the actual hangers. Uh, take some pliers and you know make and kind of see how I kind of got these kind of flat. Mainly you want to get this end kind of um, closed up so the screw barely goes through it and uh, basically so the screw is going to be able to hold it to the board. That's going to kind of go through like such like that okay to the board now let me prep the next step here okay those two wires this white one i got here and this black one i got here go ahead and hook them with your pliers like that and then just kind of attach them to one of these center screws and then you can kind of pinch it around with the pliers okay thus it's going to actually get hooked up to the coaxial and that's going to the tv so either another hanger, I happen to have this piece of copper wire. That's where I got this from. I had some electrical wire, some Romex, and I just pulled out the uh, the three wires out the Romex. Um, 
but a hanger would do. So pretty much this is what we're going to do. We're going to you know hook one side like that. You're going to go around this one, around that one, and then you're going to hook hook this last one to the end. Let me show you what that looks like. So I got the screw screwed down. So I did I did it real sloppily. So it's kind of wrapped this around, brought it here, wrapped it around, wrapped it around, and then the fourth one. And I tightened all these screws down. So these are being held down, and then the copper wire is being held down. And eventually, you know, you can straighten these out, bend these. You can cut them all the same length, get it all looking pretty if you want. Uh, but this is the main concept here. And then this wire here is on one of these. So I'm going to do the other side. Going from here to here, but remember when I go from here to here, make sure the two these two cross wires don't touch. So you just kind of bend it over. So there, there, the hair, and then there, and then same thing. You don't want the two bare wires to touch. So let me put that last one on here. All right, so we're almost done. Looking extremely sloppy. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll put up a little schematic. You can also Google uh, like literally homemade TV antenna schematic. You'll see this exact same one on there, but. So look, as you notice, like these two copper wires aren't touching because I have that little thing right there. And uh, you can use pit tape right there too, like if you don't want them to touch. And then same thing here. I just got this black wire in between these two copper wires so they won't touch. But that's the main thing. They're pretty stiff, so they shouldn't touch. As you can see, it's kind of floating, floating up. But yeah, so the cross, these go straight, cross, and then this one here crosses straight over crosses again and then you see the four the eight triangles and then the two the black and the yellow wire they don't the black and the white wire they don't have to be this color but you don't want I, I got this uh used insulated wire so they're not touching all this other stuff too but you can use bare wire if you want just make sure it doesn't touch all this other stuff here now these are going to connect to the coaxial so let, let me show you what that looks like this black wire and then this here your, uh, white wire so as you can see I use my pliers to just kind of coil this um, one of these wires up like that because I'm, I need this thing to kind of it needs to make contact with um, with the silver part and I'm gonna wrap that around the silver part and then kind of make some uh, it's electrical tape on that I'm gonna show you what that looks up looks like up close so pretty much like that you know it will probably be better if you like strip more wire and then wrap it around more times but I'm just gonna do it like that and see how it works and then I'm gonna put some electrical tape on there kind of keep it uh, firm on there because it should make contact with that and the other wire I'm gonna splice it to that the black one so this can be done a whole lot cleaner I'm gonna take a wire nut and just wire nut these two together like that let me show you this so you see the white wire is there at the bottom, and I'm going to wire nut this black one right here to the center of the uh, coaxial cable. Like such. So I've got a wire nut in there. And then, uh, so let's just test this out and see if it works real quick. So, as you can see, wham, bam, let's take another look at it. Let's see if we can get this thing to stand up. And, uh, I've even put like this thing in the attic before <laughs> because a lot of folks have coaxial already like running to, like in their walls like this here and like so you don't have to have it have it out like I have it now but it's just like a temporary setup that I'm gonna do I'm trying to watch the NBA finals so <laughs> I don't have cable I have a lot of stream on YouTube and and uh, whatnot Netflix so get the antenna set up here and uh, now I got it connected to the coaxial, and of course it's plugged to the TV. So next, I'm going to let's get the remote. Okay, man. Um, so we're doing the scan, the auto program scan. I just want the menu, antenna scan, and it's going to find all the digital channels for me. Hopefully, I I can get up to like maybe 70 channels. That's what I've done in the past. And uh, let's double check all these connections. Everything's looking good. I don't want to mess with it too much while it's scanning. But yeah, let me let this thing scan. And that is it. It found some channels. So I'm probably going to do, uh, do another scan and maybe see if it finds more channels. But you know, just the local channels 17, 
Let's see if some of these come on. Yeah, look at that. It's just all the free free channels, you know. This is not going to get you the 5,000 channels you get with AT&T or Spectrum or somebody. Look at that, that 70 show. Uh, 28. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do another scan. Here's 29. I'm looking for, I think, what channel 23? I'm trying to watch the final. So I'm going to tighten up these connections, make sure everything looks good, and run another scan. I was tampering with it when I was doing its original scan, so it might have skipped out on a few channels. But yeah, I think it found 22 scan channels in this scan. I got up to 70, so before, so I'm going to run the scan again. But yeah, I mean, look at that. It works. It's crazy. It blew my mind when I first did this. But yeah, give this a try. Uh, no, thanks for watching. Um, Hope this works for you guys and let me know in the comments um, what I did wrong, what you did different, and uh, let me know if it works for you. And so I got the NBA Finals going. I did another scan and it actually worked. So, man, I was rushing to do this thing. <laughs> That's why I just quickly made a quick tutorial while I was doing it. I was like, I just decided to do it the last minute. It's fourth quarter. I wanted to quickly get the game on. So, yeah, I got the Finals on. You can get Super Bowl on. You know, all kind of good stuff. So, but yeah, that's that. Now let me post that schematic because mine is ugly. Google homemade TV antenna, or you can screenshot, you know, what I'm about to post. Wham, bam, that's it. So that's the schematic. Look at that. It's pretty much exactly what I did. You can get super technical with this. See where it has a six inches apart. It has a three inches spacing, eight inches long, and Sirius is insulated. That just means not touching, not the cross between the yellow, uh, between the red and the blue. And I've done this before. Sirius says the the ba Balan, you can get that from Amazon for like five bucks. It's like a little filter. It helps it, you know, it definitely improves your connection. But you know, I was trying to get that game on like quick. I was like, oh shoot, this is it's third quarter. I think I built it third quarter. Now I'm watching the fourth quarter. I decided, I decided the last minute to watch the game. So, yeah, look at that. DIYTVAntennas.com. I don't know what's at that website, but I'm sure they'll teach you as well. But here is a YouTube video on how I did it. So, all right, I'll leave you guys alone. You guys have a good day. Peace.